A while back on my channel, I did a testing video on cobalt drill bits, which viewers really enjoyed. In this video, I'll be testing out four popular brands of drill bits to see how well they're going to perform under the exact same conditions when drilling into a very hard and thick piece of metal. In this case, it is a half inch thick AR500 hardened steel shooting target. Hopefully each one of these drill bit brands can make it through, but you're also going to see which one performs the best out of these four and which one performs the worst. To get started, let's take a closer look at each one of the brands. The first bit we'll be testing is made by Milwaukee. It's a cobalt drill bit, 3 8 inch. All of them will be 3 8 inch. This one's designed for hard metals. It's the Red Helix, 135 degree split point, and it's a quad edge tip. You can see the two sections here and the two sections on this side of the tip that makes up the quad edge. Up to 15 times life. The cost of this drill bit on average is around 15 bucks. The next drill bit brand we'll be testing is made by Drill America. This is a cobalt gold finish drill bit. It is a stepped point drill bit. So 135 degree split point, but then it's stepped all the way down. This drill bit was designed for drilling into hard materials such as hardened steel or stainless steel. So it's going to be very interesting to see how well it performs with this new style tip. Average cost of this drill bit is around $13. And you can see right here, it's part of a 29 piece set in this waterproof container. Since a lot of people like Harbor Freight, we're also going to be taking a look at this Hercules six inch extended length, three eighth inch drill bit. Now I did look for the most expensive one that they sell in three eighth inch. And this was the one right here, it was $6. It happens to be black oxide. It's designed for metal, wood, and plastic. The only other bits that I saw that were 3 8 inch were reduced shank bits, and it was part of a set, and it was titanium. So a set of 15 bits was only $19.99. So you know if it included this one, it was not going to be very expensive, the bit in that set. But I did come across this one, and we're going to be checking this one out to see how well it performs. Just like the other bits we're going to be testing, spiral flutes that remove material faster. It says two times longer. And over here it says split point 135 degrees, just like the other ones, to prevent the tip from walking. The last drill bit we'll be testing is DeWalt's top of the line Elite Series. This is up to two times longer than Milwaukee. It uses a multi-step point. So the Drill America has a stepped drill bit point, so it actually has multiple steps, but it appears this drill bit has three steps. So the end, another level, and then it goes to the full width of the drill bit. You can see it right here, the tip, the wider section, and then the width of the drill bit. So this is not going to be walking too easily, and it also has three flats on the shank here to prevent slippage when drilling. This is a cobalt alloy steel bit. The price of this bit, not cheap, 20 bucks. And right here, just to show the difference between the DeWalt and the Drill America, both are side by side. Okay, let's take this outside, get the drill press set up, and get the testing going. This is the setup I'll be using. It's the exact same setup as the previous video on drill bit testing. I'm going to use this 10 pound weight. It's going to apply constant downward force on the handle. You can see the line or the brass wire goes through the handle, through this handle, and to the last handle. All of the pulling is going to be done between the 1030 position and 730, just enough to get through the plate. The speed of the drill press is 1150 RPM, which is ideal for what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be using Tap Magic cutting fluid I'm going to make sure that bit is continuously covered in fluid as it's cutting. Timer will start as soon as that bit makes contact with this plate and the cutting begins, and it's going to end either when the bit stops cutting or when the bit punches through the metal. The first bit is the Milwaukee Quad Edge Cobalt. Here we go. And 
that as far as that went, sadly. And this weight was still above the nine o'clock position. So there was plenty of downward force. Let's take a look at how far this went into the plate. And we're gonna take a look at the tip of this bit. All right, let me take a close up for you right here. It doesn't look like it went in more than maybe two millimeters. The drill bit doesn't feel dull, but let's take it out and take a look because apparently something happened to stop it from drilling. Looking at the quad edge tip, you can see on the outer edges on each side, the cutting edge has been worn down. All right, I'm not so optimistic after seeing how this one performed, but let's continue on. Now we're going to do the DeWalt multi-step. All ready to go, just above this hardened steel plate, I'm gonna turn it on, lower the weight, and get the timer going. Hopefully this one does a lot better than the last. This one too has a problem going through. Let's lift it up, take a look at the hole that was created. You can see this hole is much deeper with the DeWalt multi-step. The only problem is, it's probably four times deeper at least. The only problem is when it got towards the top, when it got to the full width of the drill bit, it couldn't handle it. So more than likely these edges became worn just like the quad edge on the Milwaukee. Let's take a quick look at this bit. Looking at DeWalt's multi-step bit, you can see exactly where I thought there may be somewhere there is. It's minimal, but apparently enough to stop it from drilling through this plate. Let me put this back in just for the heck of it. And I'm gonna do this by hand manually to really put more pressure to see if it makes any difference. I'm putting a lot of pressure. I don't wanna break the machine, but as you can see, in case you were wondering, putting more pressure is not going to help that bit to drill through that hardened steel. So far between the Milwaukee Red Helix and the DeWalt Multi-Step, the Multi-Step is doing better. They're both doing lousy, but the Multi-Step was able to go far deeper than the Red Helix. The next bit is Harbor Freight, and based on the performance of these two, I don't think it's gonna be pretty. That is it for that bit. Let's take a look at the hole and the tip of the bit. So far, they're all not doing so great against a very hard material like AR500 hardened steel, but it's an indicator of how well they're gonna do against other hard materials, such as certain grades of stainless. Looking at the three holes, you can see the Harbor Freight one did the least amount of drilling. Not surprised because it isn't a cobalt bit but that's all that they had in this size. It only went about halfway down compared to the Milwaukee Red Helix. So if you need to drill a hard metal, you definitely don't want to spend your money on one of these bits. So far, I would go with the Walt Multi-Step. And as you can see, there's wear, but it is minimal, but enough to stop it from drilling through a hard material. Now the last drill bit is the Drill America Stepped Cobalt Drill Bit. Hopefully this one does as good or better than the expensive DeWalt multi-step bit. The tip is stuck in the very back side of this plate. So let me back it up just a little bit. All right, 
turn it on again and I'll drop it just to see if it could finish the job. But the clock stopped at that point. I don't believe it. All right, I stopped it because it looks like it wasn't going any further, but it looks like it's really close to the bottom. So let me loosen this, drop it down, so we can get an idea of how deep this bit went, if it made it through or not. Oh, wow, that's really, really deep. Way deeper than the other bits. But it did not go through. Let me see. Yes, it did. The tip of this actually pierced this plate. Let me show you. So this was the only bit to be able to go through the plate with the small tip at the bottom. It went right through. The only problem is it couldn't make the entire hole the full width of the drill bit. But I gotta say, it definitely outperformed the other bits. And this one here was cheaper than the Milwaukee and cheaper than the DeWalt. So in my opinion, if you're looking to drill through a hard material, the Drill America bit, the multi-step, is definitely the way to go. Here you can see first place Drill America, second place DeWalt Multi-Step, third place is the Red Helix by Milwaukee, and last is Harbor Freight. And right here, you can see where the tip punched through. If this plate was a quarter inch thick instead of a half inch thick, more than likely the Drill America bit would have gone through. Guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this testing video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.